Hey, good day. My name's Lance, and today uh, I'll try to get some painting done. I'm going to take this old painting I was working on and try to revitalize it. Oh, it kind of got away from me, but it's all dry now, so I'm going to just try to go back in and see if I can't take and make it into a decent painting and redo some stuff on it. Should be fun. And uh, never signed this one, so it never was completed. So um, let's get her uh, put up here. I like to use a this wood and I just take these panels and I will stick them on there and they, they work good. So hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day. We're going to get a little closer here. Okay. A little closer, lift it up a little bit. You see it pretty nice day today in Montana. The sun's out. I'm going to zoom in a little. How's that? Okay. And we've got a nice focus area on it. That there. And then I'm going to switch over. To manual because I don't want it blurring out for you there okay uh, we're up and running so that looks good I'm gonna take my phone and put it on do not disturb only important calls can come through okay and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and these trees I want to kind of redo okay and I don't know if I'm gonna use this brush or if I'm going to use a, uh, a fan brush. I think I'm going to try to see how this one works. And that was me bristles, but they're kind of uh, bigger trees. So maybe I will try that other brush just to see. So I'm going to come in here. Hopefully you can see all this. Um, but I'm going to take and darken them up. I'm going to take some, some of this green. A couple of greens colors here. I'll mix some brown in there. A red, a little black, okay, because I want it to be a dark background, a little blue, it's Prussian blue, little Prussian blue, black, uh, raw, raw umber, burnt sienna, red, this is a soil green, uh, Indian yellow, this is sap green, and you can see my white down there, a little more green in there, Let's see, I don't know if we have enough paint, I'm going to have to mix some more, grab all that. Grab all that sap green too. I'm just going to make a dark color here. Some blue, a little brown in there. See that? That's what I want. Okay, that'll darken it up nice. Maybe too much, but it doesn't matter. Let's see. So, put that there. Want too much there. there. All right. Let's we'll start out, and I'm going to need a little bit of medium too, so I'm going to put some of this uh, this clear gel on there, and I'll mix that in, because that's going to give me a little more, it'll work, should work a little better there. And I'm just going to take that clear gel, and I'll mix it in there, you know, grab a little bit of that, and that'll make it a little more, thins it, but there, see if that's too dark or what, but grab this guy. This is just a 99 cent brush and come in and just tap them. See how this is going to go. Cause these are, I like the background and the sky and stuff. So I want to keep that. I just want to kind of come in here and start just see how this works. There. And it should pop right away when you get all these colors in there. I just want to make sure this is the brush I want to use. Am I going to kill all that dark, that light green in there? I want to kind of come out. Okay, just kind of darken that back in there. A little red in there. There we go. See? And that just will come in and get a little color there. Get a little brown in there. Okay, a little bit there. See that? Oh, that brush works good, and you can kind of put some land down in here. Okay, not bad up here, and we can just have a little fun. Make the trees a little bigger, a little darker. Come over here. Okay, and if we want, we can put a. We can come in with a fan brush too here in a minute. I'm, Kind of running out of paint. So, all right, I'll put some more on there. There, just to kind of be 
we want it dark down here. Might leave that there. Let's put some more grass down there or whatever. How's that look? Not too bad. Dark enough. Dark enough. I'm going to have to put some more, mix up some more color though. I need some brown. Get some blue in there. And sienna. Some red. Get some more green. I don't have like sap green. I just throw some sap green in there. Good color. Too much sap green and red will make brown anyway. So I don't want too much of that. But there, there's some more color. Get a little more of this. Okay, and use that up. Just want some dark in there. Okay, and it's kind of thinned it. I thinned it again. Let's tap some in. I want these to stick out a little further. Okay, up here. Taking the edge of the brush and tapping both ways there. Good. Okay, and then up here, it's a little small. We're going to cover that tree. I'm just kind of smashing the color in. Put it on there. And we can come in and get a, a, a better brush, like a liner or something. Now I'm just going to start grabbing color. Okay. Just mixing. Brush mixing. I don't, doesn't really care. Like that. A little more of that stuff. I don't have anything on the canvas. So. And these trees can change a little. They don't need to be exactly how I had them before. Right? That one there. I like that one. Okay, I kind of leave some of this down here. Put in a little, we'll cover that up. We can come back in and put them back in, but. Okay, see? Just kind of maybe following the lay of the land goes. Let's get some red, brown, green. I'm just kind of mixing everything now. That's okay. Just using what I got. Blue in there. A little more of that. My hand gets kind of tired. Maybe that's why they have the holes in the things. Okay, and then over here, we're just going to kind of come in and pound in the trees here. Okay, dark trees back there. Okay, come down here. This will be fun to put color over it. Okay, and figure out what, what I want to do here. Covering a lot of stuff up, darks. Right? Make that kind of open a little bit, we'll see. But I like that. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and a little bit of tree here. Just maybe that one's farther back. Blue, red. I ran out of black, didn't I? It's okay. There we go. Something like that. It was kind of airy before, now now it's not, so. It's all paintings go through a stage where, uh oh, messed it up. Now it's super dark, which is fine, and it makes everything else look lighter, kind of, doesn't it? Okay, so that's kind of what we got there. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take my. I'm going to mix a bunch of this color together too. Okay, not all of it, but kind of get it out of the way. But it still is a nice, nice brown, which might work good for. Uh, might work really good for some. Usually if you take a lot of the color and mix it like this, like it's got a nice brown. I don't want too much blue in it, but I'm going to save it right there. Okay. That'll work. And it might come in and work good for trees. We're going to have to lighten it up a little bit. But we can come in and make some little tree branches on those, which we might do here in a second. I'm going to grab that same color. Which I think I will. Um, got a little white right here. Grab some of that. Do that. A little darker, maybe. Got a little blue. There. Get some more of that. All right. Get a little yellow ochre or Indian yellow in there. There. A little darker, though. Okay. There. How's that look? Let's give that a try. And then I'll just take my, this, uh, my knife here and just kind of come this way. A little bit on the back side. Just come over here and maybe tap in some branches. There's some little indications of 
see we'll have to come down go up and we'll cover these up i'm just pushing some of these will be covered up but a little lighter at the bottom you just make little things going up there maybe touching there's one there that goes up over here who knows goes up here See that kind of, can you see that? Does it, there, is it working? Yeah, not getting blurry. It's just so dark, okay. All right, and then over here, this one's gotta have some stuff coming down. Okay, just little indications of stuff. Maybe that's a bigger trunk down here. Now, just kind of follow up the tree. I'm using the brown, you know, there's one that comes there. There's a branch there, just stuff happening. Okay, make some more. Sometimes it's easier to do this. More indications. I could make these a little lighter, but it's kind of dark. Over here, maybe this one comes up. Does it need to be straight? And it comes that way, and then maybe there's a limb there. If you're going to start up higher, you want too much paint on there, really thicker. Down there. there. Maybe there's some back in there. I kind of like the way that paint got colored. Just little things happening. Maybe that's the main one there. You make it a little wider down there. Same over here. You can come back this way and go like this. Comes down to there. That one. There, a little bigger. Pulling. And then there's some stuff over here. You can just, I'm just putting some, just kind of sliding to the side and pulling down. There's a lot of bushes back there. No, there. So there you got some trees. And hopefully, those are looking pretty good. You can see those. I know it's dark, but we'll come in and maybe put some little more, some more highlights in there so the trees look a little better. And so to do that, I'll wipe off my knife here. I'm gonna have to get some dark green, sap green, and I'll put some sap green up here. I'm just getting some sap green on the, and I'm gonna probably mix up, I don't know, I like that. Some sap green right there, grab some of this Indian yellow. A little bit of that brown in there. I don't want it too light. There, see that? Bring that in there. See, that should look good. A little more Indian yellow in there if we want. Toot. Oh, there. Okay. So, we'll take that, and I'm going to go back to my, that other brush. I think I'm going to switch over and get a fan brush, okay? And use this one instead. I'm going to grab some of that, some of that uh, color. Thin it. Stuff's gonna have to be thin or it's not gonna stick well. It's gonna hit that and it's gonna make it darker. Okay. I'm just gonna tap and try to get some highlights on here. Just a little bit of indication so the trees have more. See that? Just touching and going down. I might have, I don't wanna make it too bright, but forgive me. I'm gonna have to put a little yellow in here too. Just a little bit. See how that mixes with it. Okay, just to make it a little lighter so it stands out a little more. Just grab a little bit right there, bring it up in there. Tap some butt or get it on the bristles. And just kind of come in and just think where the where the highlights would be and where the leave it darker at the bottom. Looks better that way. A little more yellow. Sorry, I'm trying to keep in the here maybe. My cat's up my feet. Okay, there. A little bit in there in the middle. Okay, that kind of gives us a little bit right down here. Maybe a little bit right in here. Okay, just same thing, a little yellow. Now it's hitting the color on there. It's making a little bit. 
just kind of think how trees look. And, you know, and just kind of, you're going to cover up some of your limbs because you want to. And more light. I'm continuously making it lighter. I don't know if I can see that because it's a little bit. Okay, it's a little lighter in here. Or might be a little bit of light from there hanging through. See that one? That one's probably farther back. But these are just all. Uh, they come forward. They go back here. You got to have light against the dark or your painting will be flat. Okay, I'm just grabbing more color. Just kind of smashing these in. See, push. If you think you're getting too much, slow down a little bit. If you think you have too much, oops. You know, let it get lighter at the bottom. Okay, here, you want to kill all your dark, but maybe back there, there's some little limbs and stuff. So, okay, we'll get down to the bottom here and we'll leave it darker. We got to have follow a lay of the land. Maybe that tree's there. And we're going to get some land down here. Okay, see, I know there's a lot of green and we might throw some rocks in, but just let it kind of come down. Should we put some water in here? I'm using a little more green. There's a lot of dark on there too, so it's mixing up nice. See the bottom here? Put some dark in. That we did. I might throw some water in. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Maybe it comes right down into here. And we can kind of... See this back here? You get a little blue in there. Don't want too much light. You can push up with your brush too. You want or down? You're just knocking paint in there. Okay, there. So what the darker does is gives you a little more. Uh, you can see the uh, a lot of uh, makes this look brighter, doesn't it? And it's probably maybe a sunrise or a sunset, so it's got to be kind of dark. You can't have it too light. But we can come in and add some stuff to it too. Uh, but right now, I'm going to come in and I want to take this brush here. I'm just going to grab whatever I can get my hands on. See this blue, Prussian blue in there? There's a little crick coming down. So I'm going to go like this. Scrub it back and forth. There's going to be some green in there, but that's okay. Where is it going to go? Like this, I see right there. Okay, a little crick goes down. And Maybe it washes out that way. Okay. How's that look? It comes through there. There's some green in there. It could be a path too, but today it's going to be a, a little crick. Then I'm going to come in and we can probably, let's take the white. Tiny bit of white. And we'll get some white. Just see how it goes. This isn't the best brush for it, but I'm just going to come back and forth. Try to figure out where we want it. See that blue? Little. See, maybe it pokes that way, comes this way. My hopefully my head's not in the way. Everything's working good. See, just kind of find out which way you want it to go. And then we'll come back in. Maybe it's it pulls down that way. I should use a fan brush for this that and then you can come in get some more white on there get some more highlights in there yeah, see little things happening see there's a little rock there okay this is not too bad we don't want to kill all the all of the uh the dark do we okay let's see it's looking good it's holding up good all right now we can also come in and I have a smaller fan brush. Let's take this one here. I'm gonna grab this here and grab some more. Let me get a fan brush here. Now watch this. You can really have some fun. See that? Is it a little watery? Maybe there's some little things catching here and there. Some white. Come back up here and try to get a little more white in there. There. See? 
And maybe there it's just really calm. It's kind of coming down. It's kind of funny how it is, but it's it's like, where in the heck's that coming from, huh? Okay, let's grab some dark, some more of that darker brown, and maybe we can get a little edge right up in here. It goes a little higher. There, see that? Pull that down a little bit. Make a little tree stick out a little more there. Kind of covers that up a little bit. Good, I like that. You got that coming down. Maybe, maybe, let's see here. I don't know. Let's do some, maybe some rocks or something in here. There's a big rock that comes right in here. Down at the bottom here. Maybe some down there. We have a stone or a rock. Pull it this way. Just think how you want your rock to look. Bring it down. And this has got some this the knife, it's this is thick. Got some paint on there. There. Pull that down. I need some more dark, maybe. There. There's the rock. Kind of comes down like that. I like one on the other side too. Maybe there's a little rock right there. Just some rocky little stuff going on. Just throw some dark in and we'll come back in and get a few rocks on the edge there. We'll get some more umber, raw umber there, because it works good for rock colors. There. Makes a little out in there. You can grab some little blue maybe. Just mixing up some more dark. Get some blue in there. Black would be good too, get a little darker. Yeah, just there. And the little rock comes down. Down a little darker. There. Can you see that? Maybe there's one over here. Kind of pull that down. Oh. Doesn't have to be there. A little bit of stuff going on there. Maybe there's some just some other ground here. Some rocks and dirt. There, kind of gives it a little more. Then we'll just come back and get some white. Maybe a little bit of. I have some. A little ochre is always a good color for rocks. A little yellow ochre on the mixing for the highlights on those. So you just come in and. A little yellow ochre on there. There. A little lighter. You could ah, grab a little bit of white. There's blue in there, so there. Let's get a little bit of that. And yeah, maybe the well, where we're at though. We gotta have the lights. If there's any light, it's gonna have to be on this side of it. So just put a little bit there. You know, maybe a little something there. You can see that there. You can have a little light. Right break in there. Just on the right side of it. Okay. There's a little bit like up in here. A little bit of okay, just there, a little a little there. And then over here you want it on this side, right? There. It just comes down a little bit like that. And then there's a little bit comes there. That doesn't look too bad. I could make it a little lighter, maybe. Lighter there. There. Just using the knife. There's a little lump right there. That looks all right. We can also come into the the tree and add a little, a little more light on one side. Put my hand in the way. Just give it a little more there. A little bit right here. This way. Just a little highlight, make it stick out underneath. There we go. Make it easy. Don't overdo. Don't overdo. One, two, three, maybe a little more highlights in there. Okay, in there maybe. Like that one though, right there. 
There, so you got a little bit of action in there. Got some colors. Pretty good little little setup there. Okay, make some a little more. I tried to get some more white in it, but I don't know. Make it a little brighter in there. A little bit there. I like it though. I don't want to do too much though. Just kind of comes that way. There. Put it there. A lot of paint on there. There, so you got a little rock there. You pro I probably could have made them a little darker, the rocks, but oh well. And then we can come down here and put in some more little base. Kind of bury them a little bit. Maybe that comes down and there's some tree, you know, more foliage underneath it. Kind of blend it in. There. That looks all right. Now we can come back in and put a few more highlights on it. And I think I'll call it. And kind of uh, back in with this brush. And we'll do some final highlights, get a little bit of that color on there. Just right on the tip of the, see, just barely touch. Maybe right in here. We're going to have to lighten it up a little bit, right in there. Just a little bit. Yeah. Tapping, tapping. Right there. Underneath the rock there. Watch this. And that'll kind of bury that little rock in there. Okay, a little bit right there. Too much, because you know as this goes away, you're not going to see as much. There. Maybe. Right there. <laughs> there we go. So that kind of opens that up a little bit there, gives it a little, kind of draws the eye there, a little light, right? And then maybe we can do, I don't want to kill the, the, the nice dark there, but I'm going to put a little bit in here. I'm not going to go all the way to the tips of the trees though. I want to keep that dark. Right there. In there. A little bit just poking through there. That looks that looks all right. I like that. And you can kind of maybe I'm looking back maybe a little bit right in. Sometimes I do better when I don't have my cheaters on. I can see more. Right there. Okay, that looks all right. You can come back and maybe just a little bit. Just sneaking back over there. Not much. Not much. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, well, I think that one looks better than it did before. A uh, little more, a little more, a little more uh, style in there. You could see the old tree that was in there. You know, we could put another tree in, but I don't think I'm going to put it back in. I guess we could try doing something with, let's see here. Let's see if I have another knife. Or I got this brush here. I might be able to put another little, maybe something in there. Some dark. And then just maybe pop in another tree that's just, you know, maybe it's right in front here. Yeah, just a small one. Maybe it sticks up over here. Try this. Bring that down. The rock there. Maybe it's got a limb right there. Very thin, a little bit there. Okay, we have to lighten that up. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to see it. So I gotta find my white. This can be tough because it's pretty. Th There's so much paint on there. This one's gonna be a tough one to see. So I'm gonna lighten it up with some white, some brown. Get some white in there. There we go. You see that? It'll be thin too. I don't care if it's green. I should put paint thinner on here. There. Let's kind of come in and see if we can find that in there. Just very easily just touching. Just pull it down to there. I like that. That's better. And then you got some limbs over. Maybe it's right there. 
That looks all right. Come on, sometimes it's easier when you're painting to do barely touching. See, I'm gonna follow the other one I had. You're like a little thick there. Sometimes it's easier to have your arm on something, but here. There. See? We know what it is. Okay, a little knob there, and then that one can have a little something coming up. Could be a thick tree. I don't know. This brush is a little too big for it, but that's okay. Anyway, there's a little something right there. some little things you can make up higher if you want there that and then down here we've got the kind of comes in behind there maybe there a little something there an old dead tree maybe can do very well but it's kind of adds a little little bit of something in there i don't know okay i think that'll work and you can always add a little bit of at the bottom there. Okay. Maybe there's two branches on this tree. I don't know. Not too much. Just kind of put some stuff in there. And give them a little something in the front there. That doesn't look too bad. I think we will call this one. I'm going to try and darken a little bit of that tree. A little bit. Okay. Maybe give them a little bit of dark. On this side, I want to ruin it though. That's tough. We'll do that. This brush I used is too big. Sorry, this one just I should have used a liner, but yeah, come on there, maybe bigger. There, the color there makes him stand out. Little shadow on this side, that's kind of what I was hoping for. And with that, you can actually come up here, maybe a little shadow there, put it right there, blue in there. I don't know. That looks that looks like it'll do. Okay. So, and then you can come in and you can always do some of these. And grab a little bit of whatever. A little bit of either some bushes or little, all these little sticks and stuff. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that tree color, some little things in there, grass, whatever, maybe something pokes out there, not too much, don't overdo it, so, so hopefully, uh, I thought it turned out pretty good, and uh, thanks again, hopefully you had a good day today, and we'll see you next time, bye now.